Hey guys, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Okay, this video is going to be about um, adding the offset, either inside or outside, um, our images, when we do the scan. Now, when Brother um, did our updates, oh, the dog's in there. Okay, when Brother did the updates, when they gave us these updates, they really kicked it up on full blast. Let me see how this looks in the camera. Nope. Alright, here we go. Okay. So I'm going to load my mat. And as you see, I position all of my scans directly in the center. It seems to give me a little bit better result. Now, when I'm going to do um, the add uh, either inset or offset, what scan do I have to use? I have to use the direct cut. I'm going to use the color mode for some reason. Even though it's black and white, that tends to pick it up a little bit better. So we'll let that scan. And we'll size it. Okay. And again, I use a zigged mat. So I don't ever have to worry about my stuff not sticking. Alright, cool. So that's a really good capture there. So when I click OK, these screens come up. Let me bring this in a little bit better for you. I have this new camera thing and if it doesn't kill me before I'm done, I will be so surprised. Alright, let's get this in here so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so of course here's the little embossing, and this is the frames. This little guy right here, well we know, I call it the old roll of film looking thing because that's what it looks like to me. When we hit that, this comes up, the outline distance. Well looky here, you can go minus, and when you do minus, it only does it by point zero one at a time. And as you see, some of my stuff starts to disappear. Because the machine can only decrease it just so much. So if I want to go, let me see if I can just get it to do it a little bit. If it'll come up on the screen. Okay. This is not something I would do with this image, but hopefully you can see that sets inside of my line by 0.05. And of course, some of the stuff is missing because these are just straight lines, okay? So it can't go 0 .05. And if I was to get mad at the machine, well, that just proves that I really probably shouldn't own a scan and cut. Because it's not nice for me to do that. Okay, so the outline distance, a positive 0 .04. Well, let's click OK. And let's take a look at what that will give me because I want a nice outline around it. I don't want it to cut directly on my line. So let's blow it up to 400 and let's have a look-see. Oops. Well, that looks pretty good. Okay, let's do 0 .08 and unfortunately, I cannot go in and individually adjust those any further. So it's a 0 .04 adjustment. So let's go check these out. Let's go to point, or let's go to 400%. Okay, that looks a little bit better. I really like the way that looks. Okay, so let's go okay. And then take this back out. Move my machine over. And we're going to cut. I've had my machine set all day on the same depth because I've been using the same cardstock. Now if I were to change cardstock. 
stop, I would check my settings and make sure that my blade depth wasn't too deep or too shallow. But I've been using the same white cardstock all day and I've been making all kinds of different cuts. See, it pops off cleanly. And this is just my general blade. I don't have any fancy blades. I don't put new ones in just for videos like some people do. I use my everyday blade. Okay. So, let's take a look at these a little bit closer, guys. Here we go. Let's zoomy, zoomy. Okay. So as you see, those cut really, really well, really, really close at the outline that I want so that it's not sitting directly on that line. Okay, so now when I ink around there, when I do all of my coloring, it's going to look nice when I go to put it on a card. Okay, all right, so that's how you go about doing the inset and the offset. And like I said, remember about the inset, how that disappeared? You cannot get an inset on that further than like maybe a point zero one so you need to understand that when you look at these um, if it's a straight line or something like that you're going to start losing a lot even this heart you can't really get an inset um, for things like that all right so when you look at your files or you look at your stamps or the, whatever you're trying to scan understand that part of it all right guys it's been Scanning and with your stamps and inset and offset if you have any questions about this Please come and find me over at scan and cut canvas and scal help on Facebook. Thanks